So, just another quick video about Virtual D-Day 2021 and the latest public release, which is 6418 at the time of this video, and a new feature in there, which is a little tiny thing that's been added to the repeat scripts. So, uh, the repeat scripts, as you're mono, most of you probably know if you work with, uh, with some other scripting, can make stuff repeat, and that means you can also make it pause be between the stuff. Um, so that's a repeat start or repeat start instant and repeat stop to stop it again. Um, and usually you used to do that in milliseconds, uh, but now a little tiny change makes it possible to do it in beats. So that makes it much easier to do things in time now. And that's what this video is about. So I've basically created four small examples here that we can check out that instead of doing something based on milliseconds, like 10,000 milliseconds, 4,000 milliseconds, it does it in time. And that, of course, creates a whole range of possibilities um, for doing stuff in time. So for instance, uh, this first one that you just saw, uh, turn on the echo, waits for eight beats, and then turns it off again. So that means you could do something like this. and it's automatically turned on. Of course, you could measure that in milliseconds, how, how long time does that take? But then it would only work for 126 BPM, and it wouldn't work, work if you changed the BPM uh, on, on the track for mixing, for instance. But now, if I, for instance, turn to minus 10%, and do the same thing. It's still perfectly in time. Another example could be uh, using it on a, on a sample. So I play a sample and stop it again after eight beats. And this sample, the siren, is a lot longer. So it'll cut it off at exactly eight beats. So that'll be something like this. Just go back to regular BPM. Just like that. And again, you can change the tempo and it'll still work. Like that, so that's pretty cool. But so that was uh, for effects and for, and for uh, samples, but you can of course use it for anything. So for instance, uh, the shaders, if I turn out on the shaders here, the, the video output, you can see I have, I have shaders running. And you can also set them up to change milliseconds, but now we can do it in beats. So that means I can, for instance, tell it to change these every four beats. So that's up here, four beats, and change the shader. So that makes it more interesting. So if I play the track, so we're done. it'll change the shader every four beats. And of course, you can do it in other beats counts as well if you want to. So, and the, uh, the last one is that you can actually delay it. You don't have to do it instantly. So this is an example of delaying stuff. So instead of doing something right away, I start with a repeat start uh, um, for 16 beats and just do it once and then do a mix. So this will wait for 16 beats and then mix to the other deck. So uh, I can try that. Let's just bring it back to regular tempo, like this. So you can go Something like and turn it on the time. Wait sixteen beats. And then just the next. It seems like you can't take no more. So that's pretty cool. So but this video is not just uh, really uh, give justice to what it can actually do because it can do so many things with this new little tiny change that makes you able to repeat stuff and turn stuff on and off uh, in time. Uh, no matter the, the BPM, no matter if you change the BPM, very, very cool new feature. Of course, the uh, the examples from this video will be in the, in the video description, but don't let that limit you because there's so many options with this.